Two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner, which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, Bernardo said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens cawed and rushed at him. flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. gate of heroes. Someone's idea of a joke, making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking that damn book anywhere, and neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero's sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot. He had guts. Where was Renardo going to get a hero sword? Yeah. Or and win essence? That sounds about right. I'll need a workshop though. Perfect. Hero Sword, QED. This is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook and she'd laughed at Renato's jokes, even when he didn't know he'd made one. And then the ravens had come to burn her and she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was, just the kid. He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I hopped, said the kid. Wise-ass kid. Hey, look out behind you! Cute, said Renardo. Oh, ravens. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. How he done it? Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills.
it was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Farfarer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kessler run in 12 furlongs, oh, so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. And a goggler nailed him with its eye. unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes and the kid-sized pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. <sighs> What's the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. All that had been years ago. How many? War was a blur, and now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Cored the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renardo could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renardo yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the Raven.